what to do what's up up top <laughs> it is that, that, that was that was why <laughs> i said up top like what do you mean up top like you're just supposed to go like and then you like yeah this is like this no like <laughs> What was that? Please. What do you mean up top? We're gonna bro. put that in bloopers. Mans can't do an up top. When you say up top, you're, said to you're just top, you're just supposed this. to Am I lifting you're just God, supposed bro. to what's be up, like to and me? then be done. <laughs> what what are you doing? <laughs> like <laughs> bruh, it's not <laughs> oh, high five is just, up just, top, up top. Thank you. I did the same thing. Bro. No, you <laughs> just did you did same. this in the first one. <laughs> like <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> Ah, what's good, my people? Energy. Energy. Mm. It is your girl, Just Shaz. Back with another video. You know what to do. New video Sundays. You know, trying to, trying to keep that vibe going. And today, we have a very special guest. You may or may not have seen him in another video. Yeah, I don't know when this one is coming out. Exactly. That's why I'm like, <laughs> you may or may not have seen him. But this uh, is my boy. All straight from Malta. Yeah, from man. Malta. From the island. From the island. He's highly hydrated, you know. Mm. Skin glowing and that, you know. I mean, it's reflecting right <laughs> now. <I said. laughs> it's okay. Bro, I'm like, I'm blind. <laughs> You're just blinded. It's okay. Honestly, blinded. half of the video, I might just pop some like, glasses, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. You just be like, what is happening? Yeah, you, you tell me, I have to like look at that. I can barely see you myself. You can't see anything. Yeah. Join, join the club. You gotta get the shades on. What, like now? Shades? Huh? Do you have shades? I have one type of shades. Okay, go get the oh, shades. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's good, people? <laughs> that is a <our> man. <laughs> can't see shit. You, I know. <laughs> That's why I was like, once we wear these, it's, it's done. Yeah, like, We're just gonna be like, hmm, is it recording? So, is, is love... <laughs> is, it, is love blind? <laughs> ah! <laughs> nah, so that that, uh, that works perfectly. Honestly. Anyways, so <laughs> so that you guys get why that was funny. Today we're discussing drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> Today the topic of discussion is is love a decision. Um, this topic was brought to us by Cici's mother. None other than my mother because she's awesome and she's a queen <laughs> but anyways so that is that is the the question on the table on the table mm. <laughs> today yeah so is love a decision so we're well, gonna open with that one mm -hmm. just, like, just like that yep straight from the straight pan to the fire yep is okay that, is that how it goes <laughs> i english not first language i don't think that's the same I, isn't that how it goes from the pan from to the, the pan to the fire something like that okay Some, i guess like that. It's hard to keep up with these colonizers. <laughs> Honestly, though. <laughs> All right, so love, yeah. Let's decolonize Let's love. Let's decolonize love. What is love in Maltese? Mhabba. Mm, coming what? from the Mhabba. Mhabba. So coming from the Arabic word "hub," like to love. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you when you directly like, translate it, is it just love as one singular word or like a sentence? It's one singular word, um, but can be used in, in various... In a sentence, okay. Yeah, like, but context. Okay, also. how would you say I love you then in Maltese? In Hubba. But that's the word love itself. No, 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 Em Hubba. Em Hubba... Em Hubba is love? Yeah, saying like... Saying I love you? Like, like the concept okay. of love. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> Preach this. <Yes. laughs> love, love. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> It's like an earthquake. <laughs> um, but then saying I love you would be in Hobbok. In Hobbok. In Hobbok. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. So Titi, talk to us. Um, <laughs> what uh, are we, are we doing translations for now? Yes, we're doing opening it up with translations. Uh -huh. So in Shona, love uh -huh. as a word is Rudo, like just as one word, mm -hmm. like Rudo. But mm -hmm. saying I love you is mm -hmm. Dinokuda. Mm. You know, so it then becomes oh that's, that doesn't that, even sound as no it sounds the yeah that's why i was like is oh. it a sentence or is it a word like oh. on its own yeah that's interesting still so, so. oh shit okay mm -hmm. i got it does, yeah, does my question make sense now <laughs> no, i mean i don't think it makes much of a okay. difference but <laughs> but anyways anyways and now that the pleasantries are out of the way is love a is, decision is love a decision i i i think that love 
partially, partially. it's a decision okay. you make after you fall in love. I don't think it's a decision that you make initially. Initially. You think it's a decision that you then make to keep it going? Yes. Wait. Because love might come from a place like you might love someone mm -hmm. and then you know it is when you not even get to know a person but like say you're going to be living with the person mm -hmm. you really have to factor in your schedules and everything and your habits and, and your habits and mm -hmm. that's when it gets real okay right that's when you really have to piece your life together okay both of yours <laughs> like yeah <laughs> and so i think it's after the decision comes after you decide to love someone because then it's a commitment. But then that, you clearly just contradicted yourself because you said that comes after you've decided to love someone. So you did decide to love Oh, them. no, no, no. After <laughs> you, no, sorry, not decided. After like you've initially fallen in love. With it's them. something you cannot control. Okay. So something like this is like, it's out of your hands. So would you when say. When you fall in love. So to you, is love a feeling or an emotion then? I am both. not in, like I do not know the difference between <laughs> these two. Okay, let's put them in the same WhatsApp group. Emotion, <laughs> <laughs> emotion and feeling, same. <laughs> Would you say that's what love is? Then it's a feeling. <sighs> love, love, love. It's getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <whew. laughs> Let me tell you something about love. <laughs> <laughs> no, love is is a feeling, uh -huh. a reaction, and an action. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think I take love as an action word, as in it's the things that you do. Mm. So like, yes, the like I can like you. I feel like liking someone is a feeling, but then mm. for me, then love mm. becomes like an action. So that initial falling in love that you're talking about mm -hmm. for me is that falling in like. <laughs> Falling in liking. And falling in liking. Falling and in then liking. after I've established that uh -huh. I really like, I really, really like you, then like the, the next Stage. actionable things that I'm going to be doing are in order for like to keep that love going. So like it then that's when the decision then comes. You know, that's why mm -hmm. people have never used falling in liking. But I, I, I'm using it <laughs> because like... <laughs> I am falling, falling in, in like <laughs> no love I can't song. help no, 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 no love falling song. in like with you <laughs> like no there's no song nah, talk about falling in like liking what's that bro I like I like I really like you I like you know I like cooking I like you know gallivanting no okay because like when when love chicken, is when love is an action ribs, word <laughs> honey barbecue spare ribs on the grill i like that I no i love that no fuck that i love that <laughs> i love that so, okay so do you know that saying when they say you can you can love someone but not like them you can oh yeah oh yes. like okay you know what you know an example of that yes and that is why my <laughs> argument of you not controlling that initial love mm -hmm. family yes family don't because you don't choose you can't family choose, yeah but they, so but they're your family so you have to love them no you have to but like you intrinsic like it's a prerequisite right like you love them like you, can't, like, you can't not love your family i mean like you can you can for sure <laughs> there's there's definitely instances so yeah so that's still a decision mm -hmm, i wouldn't say and in as much like as much as you do not control the factors that make you fall in love you also cannot control those factors that make you fall out of love or not love someone uh, like in the first place. Exactly. So if it's a decision or an action, you can't not fall out of love. You are just deciding to stop loving. But no, but that... No, ho, wait, what? Yeah, so when... So wait, talk to me again. <laughs> read, read, read it up. Let's... Read it up. <laughs> Rewind. We love the trend, if, if we're saying If we're saying love is a decision, right? Like, are you, am I? Am, are you saying No, that? no, no. Because that's the question of the whole video. Okay, is fair. love a decision? Right. So we can't say falling in love and then that's how you then fall out of love. If love is a decision, it means you just decide to then not love the person. Mm, I think factors that like... No, I don't think like... Like it's a decision you make to no longer love the person, and if it's and if love and what I'm saying and love being an action word, like love is the thing. To <laughs> oh, mamma mia! Paul, <laughs> hello. Even even the wind knew you were talking shit because they're not wow, the same. Wow, listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Also, guys, As wait, hold I was up. saying, can we no? Can we appreciate this though? Can I don't even know if they can see it. Maybe. <laughs> can we see it? Oh can well, only, uh, maybe. we can only find out at the end. Yep. <laughs> But anyways, and when before the wind rudely interrupted mm. my nuggets of wisdom, God damn. I was saying yeah. <laughs> that if 
if love is a decision or love is an action word in terms of what I'm saying, like when I stop doing those actions of love of like you know to you, that's you me then not like loving you because I've stopped doing the things mm. that are loving to mm. you. Mm-hmm. So that's how love is an action word to me, mm-hmm. and that's how love is or can be a decision because then I can actively decide to stop doing things. You know, I think. I get, I think it's too, like it's both things. It's it's because okay, decision is is basically like you have the choice. Yeah. I think I think it's both. I think there's aspects of love that is not up to you. Mm-hmm. And there's aspects of love that are up to you. That's liking. I mean, for <laughs> you, but for me. Okay. Um, there's it, like that's why like it's action, but the foundational of it is something that it inherently comes or goes. Okay. Cause cause you you cannot like. You cannot decide to love someone if you don't vibe with them or like it's easy for you to fall in love with someone if the dynamic is there like you don't you know like if you don't because it's vibe with if you don't like have that connection you're it, not gonna it, it happens over time it, over time so like yes and it's <laughs> time is relative time is relative yes you we, maybe we initially don't vibe and i'm like ah, who's this man and then we don't vibe but then maybe like by by constantly why are you telling them how we started <laughs> <laughs> like how did we how did this friendship begin but i yeah, didn't like, like his face like okay arranged mar- marriages let's start there like these are two people mm-hmm. that are then like just mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and then put together Facts. like so what if like they right. don't vibe but then then you have couples that are, were married through arranged marriage but have been together for 15 20 years like, right how do you so think? so that's so that's what i think is where love is a decision sometimes that <laughs> sometimes there's that dichotomy dichotomy mm. where mm. You, you can listen to that you listen to that educated man Stop. That, that i even but <laughs> I, I even butchered the first pronunciation of it but like there it, like i would say that in arranged marriages there can be that you know you can be lucky in the sense that you don't even have to put effort into loving someone because you click and immediately. therefore immediately and therefore you don't need mm. to put as much action in loving the person because mm. it comes so naturally um and then obviously there's that action part where you build on your lives but then there are those i would say arranged couples where you don't really like where you have to put much more Effort. decision in loving because you know mm. it just, like that's how like you're gonna spend your life with this person mm. so might as well put the effort in it and that's where that mm. uh, like effort and like knowing that you're putting the effort as opposed to like something coming very organically okay partakes to more of the action okay yeah so would you intellect okay intellect so do you think the whole love at first sight is a thing do you think that's <laughs> no no you don't know love at first sight you know why because that's just narrowing it down to aesthetics there's no way love at first no, sight no no love at first sight level. isn't just about like i look at you and i'm like <gasps> that's what i'm saying i'm in love okay like, okay no, okay no, then no. define that love, then define i guess that. my thing of love at first sight is like maybe we meet today and we hang out for like an hour or two and then i'm like that's my soulmate like that's the person that i'm meant to be with forever like that's uh-huh. the love of my life uh-huh. you know like just after like by love at first that i mean let's just say love at first interaction you know how they say okay. first impressions matter. okay okay so love at first impression mm-hmm. let's say that do you, mm. do you believe that that's a thing i i i think it is possible mm. but it's really 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 rare yeah that's it it's rare but so you do think it's a thing i think it's a thing because again like if you're there's like if you really clearly really like click because there's a thing you can be clicking with someone in the first interaction Mm -hmm. but then you realize they're a dickhead you know so like you know because like as you find more because they're layers like you never stop learning about a person because people change over time Mm -hmm. even right so Mm -hmm. it's also like the growth you do together and so like you can i feel like you can have that but it can also be cat that is true i guess like love it's like we don't none of us have a hat here <laughs> we should <laughs> we should because it's so sunny <laughs> very sunny i guess like associated with love do you believe in the concept of soulmates like do you do you, if if yes that you believe in soulmates do you think that each person only has one soulmate okay no okay for the second question because i don't believe that there's d1 mm-hmm. a singular person mm-hmm. i think it's a pyramid yes i think there's you build up no. to the person no 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 i think on top 
think of it as higher um um was the hierarchy of needs pyramid mm-hmm. um what's the name yeah maslow's hierarchy of needs. right but like just think of this of the pyramid right and at the very top of mm-hmm. the point of the pyramid mm-hmm. are, are the potential love of your lives there's few of them okay but they're there but there are very few of them so around that, the world so if it's a pyramid it means that at every level of the way they could be no 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 up. but like the, the, the ones at the very top are the ones that are like a hundred percent and then the ones below like the, the next section mm-hmm. are like like 90 percent love of your life which i believe is like where most people like End ended up. up settling with mm. because you really do like be lucky in, in in finding like you know like back home back <laughs> home um, and I, I believe in other communities and countries too and cultures mm. is that you know that's crazy that the love of your life lives 10 minutes away from you in a world populated by mm. billions mm. and like you know but people do love each other and they yeah. make it work so it's like like do you what really does that say about like love the in idea general of and the idea of a soulmate maybe the like, universe just say? loved you enough to drop the person ah, you, that listen. is meant to be the love of your life right next to you why do you have to work for it why do i have to fly five million miles away to find the love of my life when they're right here you don't have to because you can settle for w- what you want to settle for maybe you're lucky enough and also the fact that people are within the same culture and nationality mm-hmm. definitely help mm-hmm. you know like obviously there's yeah. going to be much similarity like hell like mm-hmm. you speak the same language and everything you know so and all of that good stuff. that definitely helps it does so that's why i think yeah it's also it's also part of that mm. ability or like of people to find soulmates very close like what are the odds you know it's just like, because oh my gosh yeah 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 but just because there's those factors that mm. really help okay yes no I, yeah i think i think there are multiple soulmates but i didn't think about it in terms of your pyramid thing about that's how i think of it yeah in terms of like for me with soulmates it's about like you know if if i've loved you once there's something that you have imparted on me in my life at some point Mm. did that mean like maybe you were my soulmate for that stage of my life that i was in so i believe in in soulmates in terms of like the stages of life if that makes sense so it's like maybe the love of my life that i had when i was 16 that was like the soulmate that i needed when i was 16 Mm. right but then now at 22 or 23 or whatever the love of my life that i'm with now it's like you're the soulmate for the stage of my life that i'm in at the moment right (laughs) shout out (laughs) shout out (laughs) but then like (laughs) You know, but now, like, if this is now the soulmate that I'm with, yeah. or, like, the love of my life that I'm mm. then gonna be with, like, for the next 10, 15, whatever, plus years, we're each gonna be growing, but the difference now is that we're growing together, so we keep then becoming each other's soulmates over and over. Yeah, right, 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 because, you know like, I mean? going back to you're growing, of, yeah, you're growing, exactly. I'm growing, and then we keep growing together, but exactly. that doesn't mean the soulmate, quote-unquote, I had at 16 wasn't a soulmate. Fair enough. So that's how that I makes, think about it. That's fair. I think there's there's definitely a lot of. I see what you're saying, and I think like, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, the ones when you're really young. Puppy love. W- were, were they? Yeah. Were they really like? Were they really soulmates? Or just infatuation, or just you know like being cool and like you know that. <laughs> so being cool. Yeah, bro. Like people. Just being, to be like I'm in a relationship. Yes. So yes. great. Didn't you like guys do like oh I have a boyfriend just I'm, to say like just to flex. say you just yes, to flex. Man. Yes, man. Yeah. They didn't do nothing but Dating just like young is a hold trap. hands. Dating young is very much a trap. It's a trap. Say it's, it's a colossal mistake, but I was like it's colossal the word to be used. Colosterol. Co- colosterol. <laughs> colossal. 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 Mm. Look it up. Mm. Educated people. Sorry. No, I can be look making up, a whole word look up. Look up though. the word colo- I, I can, colo- what? I can colossal. What? Colossal. I. We won't embarrass you on the channel. Don't worry. Do your you own. Already have. Do your own digging you to find have. out if this was a word. Drop I, it in the comments <laughs> if it was. <laughs> But listen, I have I have a suggestion though, okay. and I don't know if you've seen this. There's a stand-up comedian called Daniel Sloss. Okay, yes, you've told me about Daniel Sloss, I have. the one with the puzzles yes. and love. Okay, yes. Explain it for those that don't know. So on Netflix, he has two specials, and one mm-hmm. of them is called Jigsaw, mm-hmm. and he really, really messes up your perception mm-hmm. on how you view love mm-hmm. and how, how love, how the how the idea of romance mm. is overly romanticized and like how that is reflected in society it's really cool and like yeah, it it's funny and yeah. it's deep 
But the whole idea of a jigsaw puzzle is that life is a puzzle and you're constantly trying to like get, build your own puzzle. build your own puzzle and get pieces right and then when you meet someone who's the love of your life it's either they fit into the puzzle of your life or they don't but he was basically saying more often than not people find this person and be like this is the love of my life and then like you have shit. you have to fit into this puzzle yeah you make it fit like and even then, when they don't and yeah then, yeah know, yeah and then we, the picture is not clear no it's not clear the picture is so. not clear because you've been forcing this idea of, of the picture that you're building in your head but, but another not, person has another picture that they're building yeah. and so, so it's a madness it is a madness highly recommended so yeah so that's why love is a decision in a nutshell because you already have the big picture you already know which piece of the puzzle needs to fit into that big picture that, so that you have to pick it <laughs> that is part of why it is a decision i agree part of it Okay. Again, I, I because stand. what if so if you're saying it's just a, an emotion, uh, it's, I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying it's like part, part of it. it. Is so the, the, the part of it that's the emotion feeling. Yeah. If that doesn't fit into the puzzle, then what? What do you say again? Sorry. If that emotion or feeling part of it doesn't fit into the puzzle, mm. then what? I think the emotion part is what makes people want to build the puzzle together. Then the action is where a lot of that puzzle analogy fits in because that is where you actively. It's the other way around. Because really? Because you already you already know what picture you're building towards. So mm. you already just decide, okay, I need this piece. Mm. So now I'm gonna decide to love you because you're the one that fits into this puzzle perfectly. Well, perfectly. Well, fits into this puzzle. Or you, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. So you know what I mean. So you 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 had I have to have initially been like this is the piece that I need, and you clearly are the piece. Okay, no, no. Yeah. So I'm saying, but what leads to your decision mm-hmm. to Put that piece with you or a part of you is the the, the non-action because mm. i like i it's also a process it and is like a process. yeah yeah you know what i mean i feel like she does it <laughs> this, I do, I do. <laughs> this love thing it's a madness ah anyways guys we went back and forth i don't know if we answered the question i'm definitely pro love is a decision you're like partially love is partially a decision but not really um so, um um love is a decision as much as it is not as it is not it's 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 both it's a little bit of both it's like a bit of both it's a little bit of both <laughs> but yeah you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below you mm-hmm, know mm-hmm. let us know if what we've been saying is total nonsense, nonsense. because it, it just very much could shit. be literally <laughs> we're just (laughs) talking like (laughs) but yeah i also drop in the comments how you say love in your language Mm. wherever you're watching this from Mm. um let us know how you say the word love and how you say i love you Mm. Um, because international community yeah we're we're roping you worldwide worldwide on that (laughs) (laughs) we are growing but yeah thank you guys for watching this is always fun hanging out with you you're a very insightful, educated man. Educated. Actual. In the next video, make sure that you give this a big thumbs up. You know, like it, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button because you know we know you want to see more of this, more of this. <laughs> yeah, I should but yeah, <laughs> peace and love. Catch y'all in the next video. Saha. Saha. Is that how you say bye? Yeah. Okay. Saha. <laughs>